we're here today is to celebrate Australia Day in true style that we always do, which is having a really good laugh. And we've got a kangaroo on the menu, we have a barbecue outside. We've got a Kylie and Jason yeah. lookalike competition, which I'm not entering because I don't think I'm too much like Kylie, maybe a bit more like Jason. And we also have some films being shown at the back tonight as well, all Aussie fair as well, so it's good fun. At home I'd be, I'd be surfing and I'd be warm. In the sunshine, but here it's just a little bit light and there's frost on the sand. <laughs> it's really cold. Everyone usually embraces it. I mean, a lot of locals are here today, which is fantastic. Mm. And it's nice to be accepted in a different area where people are just really willing to have a good time as well. So In Australia, it's just one of those things that everyone celebrates, you know. And it's, it's a really good excuse to go out and have a really good time, have a barbie in the backyard, enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the fact that you're Australian and you can have a tinny in the backyard and have a barbecue. So It takes on extra significance when you're overseas, I think. But at the same time, we celebrate in a similar way. Back in Australia, a bit of beach cricket. Mm a few swims throughout the day and a few beers so I think it means a lot to celebrate it wherever you are but when you're away from home it's, it takes on a bit of a different meaning you feel like you need to be a bit more patriotic because you're not you're not on your home soil so you need to do everything you can to, to be proud and, and celebrate it